Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, shall we begin the session? Yeah, same, same, same. Everything is same. So today's topic is a continuation of the revision of the business skills for e-commerce. So, let's let's continue with this one. Let's continue with chapter number three, ISP, Internet Service Provider. What is an ISP? How it is used? What are the various applications in which the ISP will be used? So, let's start with this one. Let's start with the introduction of this. Let's start with this uh, introduction. That is. What is an ISP, how it is built, and how it is gathered with the ISP. So ISP, what is the structure? One is the objective, then there is an introduction, then definition of the internet, definition of the internet, basic concept of internet, requirements for the internet, for the, what are the various requirements that is gathered for the internet. Then types of the ISP that is available. Now how to create an ISP account? Then what is an ISP, how it is used, what are the various types of the internet service provider, then types of the ISP accounts, then selection of the ISP. Selection of the ISP means what is the I mean selection that is used for the ISP, how to select the data, how to behave with the data, how to how to, how to get the data with the ISPs. So uh, then ISP in the India, how, how to use the ISP in the India, then there is a summary, then keyword, after the keyword there is a self-assessment question, so what are the various self-assessment question in the, this keyword, then there is a suggested readings, so what are the various readings that is used for the suggested reading. Then uh, next is objective, let's start with the objective, what is the main objective of this lesson, so after going through this lesson, describe the, you will be able to describe the concept of the internet, Identify the requirement of the internet. What is the main requirement of the internet? How it is built and how it is gathered with the internet. Then illustrates the different types of the ISPs. That means what are the various different types of the ISP that is used for the various scenarios by which it is used with the ISP. Then evaluate the factors for the ISP selection. What are the various factors that we use for the ISP selection, whether we are using the MTNL, whether we are using the BSNL, Vodafone, and so like Geo. So how, how, how to use, what are the various factors for the ISP selection. Then describe different types of internet account. What are the various different types of internet account that is available. The next one is the introduction. So introduction has been used with the computer and the communication that for nothing before. And the invention of the telegraph, telephone, radio, and computer set the stage for this unprecedented, un, un, unprecedented integration of the capabilities. How it is used? What are the various internet uh, provider that is used over here? And internet is once a worldwide broadcasting capability that is a mechanism for the information dissemination and the media for the collaborations and the interaction that is used with the individual through the computers irrespective of the geographic location that means everything is available with the geographic location everything is available with the introduction of that the next one is definition of the internet what is the internet how it is used the definition includes what is the internet that is the network of the network so when we use the internet that is a network of the network that allows a computer that allows a people to email to send the email via the web browsers, to uh, download the files such as the mp3 and the images, chats, post messages on the news group and so on that is used with the internet that is that is available with the internet. And the internet has also formed or created by the Advanced Research Projects NNC Network that is ARPA of the US government in 1960. So that is used by the US government of the ARPA that is the Advanced Research Project SNC Network and that was also known as the ARPANET. So first one is also known as an infinite and all this stage the internet becomes our first computers were at the academy and the government institutions and were simply mainly used for accessing the files and to send the emails. What are the various files that is used to send the email? What are the various ways by which it is sending the email? By What are the various ways by which we are going to send the email? And from 1983 onwards, the internet has we know it, it, it today started to form with the introduction of the communication protocol that is the TCP IP to the ARPANET. Now, ARPANET is developed or integrated into the next part that is the TCP IP transmission control protocol, internet protocol with the advancement, with accommodation, with a lot of the changes and continue to keep developing and that, that has been used for the internet to use the network such as the LAN and also the ATM that provides the services. The, and then the actual method or the actual term internet was finally defined in 1995 by the FNC that is the Federal Networking Council according to the FNC the internet refers to the global information system how it is developed with the global information system that is logically linked together by the globally unique address space on the IP address that means everything is available with the IP address everything is globally unique address space that is based on the IP address or its yeah, it's protocol that is a transmission control protocol and the internet protocol. 
then next advantage of the next next uh, FNC member FNC criteria is that that provide the users or users or make make accessible either publicly or the privately. It depends on the publicly or the privately data that is available over here. Then yes, next concept is the basic concept of the internet. Who runs the internet? Who is the owner of the internet? The question is who is the owner, and the answer is no one is the owner of the internet. And anyone can use the internet. The names and the addresses. The names are sometimes known as a host, computer, server, client, and so on. Addresses are the IP address. That is also divided into two parts: IPv4 and the IPv6. That is represented with the dots. Then domain name system. That means we are assigning the names to the computers. That is a domain name system with the location. For example, if I'm talking about the website, that is a Mercury dot co dot in. So this is the domain name that is a co dot in. Yes, very good. Education website has a edu that is educational c o m government. Sorry, c o m commercial g o v government. Then m i l military o r c organizations. Co means corporation. So organization first have to register for their domain name. That selecting one of the top level specifications that describe its best, and then proceeding it with the recognizable versions of the name. For example, abc. dot com is also the domain. And once you understand how to use that, how to use a naming convention, how to use a naming system, you can remember the names more easily and also tell the things about a computer. What the organization will do, and names do not have. Also indicates the geographical locations. And many U.S. organizations, companies use the three-tier criteria. That is, most of the U.S. organization uses three one. That is, three criteria. One is a EDU, then COM, and ORG. Now, advantages of the internet. What are the various advantages of the internet? Why we are using the internet? What are the various advantages? First is the email. Email is one of the easiest and the we can say the effective communication tool in the business entities. We can, as a business partner, we can send the email at any place, yes, any time. That is 24 by 7, 365 days in a year. And one more advantage is that it is free of cost. Then information. So there is a huge amount of information available on the internet for just about every subject known to a person. That is, everything is available with the use of the, or every information is gathered with the use of the internet. Then services. Many services are also provided with the internet, such as the online banking. Yes, online applications, hotel reservation. Everything is available online nowadays. If you are doing the offline, that cost is also high. The next one is buy or sell the products. So internet is very effective way to buy or sell the products all over the world. Then communities of all types have sprung over the internet. It is a great way to meet up with the people of the similar interest and discuss the common issues. Then a leading edge image, so that presents your company or the organization as a leading edge that shows your computer or the customers and prospective consumer that you are financially strong, technology savvy, and ready for the 21st century. And and more and more advice advices on the telephone, radio, magazine, and the newspapers, and including a web address. The next next advantage is that there is an improved customer service. Customer support is very good. That is available 24 hours a day, seven days in a week, and internet never sleeps. Then market expansion. Market expansion in the sense it is a global system. Global system. We can say anything can be found out. Anything can be searched out with the use of the internet. And by simply posting a web page, you are also addressing the international markets. Then low cost marketing. It is a full color brochure without having to incur the cost of the proofs, printer, wasted papers, nothing. If we do the online marketing, then local selling.
then lower co communication cost <laughs> there's no communication cost then value added marketing that is the same then requirements of the internet what are the next topic is what are the various requirements of the internet requirements for the internet again divided into two parts hardware requirement and the software requirement hardware means what are the various physical material that is used then software, what are the various software that is the inbuilt software, for example, Adobe, Photo, Adobe, Photoshop, Adobe Reader, MS Word, Excel, very good, MS Office that is required. That is the software, hardware means CPU, keyboard, mouse, that is the hardware requirement. So first one is the hardware requirements. Users can uh, use any of the PC models coming today that is Intel Carillon, Intel P1, P2, P3, Intel P14, AMD K6, Cerex MII that is over 350 megahertz and also gives a good performance over the data. And your computer should have at least 16 MB RAM to have a good navigation on the net and the HCP card should have at least 4 MB RAM this helps in watching the graphics movies on the internet very effectively very easily. And one should have a telephone line or the ISDN connection and this connection has a more bandwidth as compared to the single telephone line and uh, there is also a modem that is also required that modem stands for the modulator and the demodulator there are two types of signals that is available one is the analog signal one is the digital signal and modulator processes that conversion of the analog into the digital and demodulator processes from the conversion of the digital to the analog signal. So modulator consists two parts. MO means modulator. Modem consists of two parts. MO means modulator and DEM means demodulator. That means conversion of the signals are uh, carried out with the modulators that is from analog to digital and uh, demodulator to the digital to the analog. That is the vice versa of the modulator. And the modems are inbuilt and they can be connected externally. That is, inbuilt modems are also available, external modems are also available, and good modems are available in the market. For example, dealing modem. Then, this is a soft hardware requirement. The next one is the software requirement that is used. One of the best requirement is operating system. Without operating system, the system is not user friendly. We can say. And uh, now, my question is to all of you, any other software requirement do you think? Yes, antivirus system, okay. Yes, firewall. That is the same acrobat data that we have discussed. Whatever the tool, whatever the software that you need. For example, Office you need, MS Office, Adobe Photoshop if you need for this one, Web Messenger, MS Outlook, whatever you need for this. The next one is a ISP. So just wait. Now next one is a ISP. What is an ISP? How it is used? So ISP is an internet service provider. So it is an organization that provides the services or that provides the internet to the various users. So ISP is a company that provides the internet access to the users, to other companies or the individuals. And ISP also maintains connection to other networks and the ISP acting as a router for the internet traffic between the customer computer or any other machine that is connected with the internet anywhere else in the world. That means we can connect with the ISP with the another ISP. That means one ISP, one organization, another organization, another company interact with another organization that is ISP. So it is a company that provides the internet access to the companies or the individual and this, this maintains the connection to other networks. ISP that acts as a router for the internet traffic between the customer computer and any other machine that also connected to the internet anywhere else in the world. Now, what are the various types of ISPs? So ISP is a company that, that, that you dial up to get on the internet and they are basically or they are mainly or basically four kinds of the services four kinds of the internet service provider that is available in the market first is the national company that offers services throughout the country that means these are the national company throughout the country this is available over the throughout the country first is a, for example there is a BSNL now what are the various advantages of the national company 
if you want to travel or move more, most likely that you will be able to access the internet at your, your own location that means that is, that is not possible you are living in the uh, one of the location and you are going to the next location in the same country it is not possible that the same the same package same everything is available or same will be used for the internet no but everything is different everything is available differently that means if you go to the next 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 state or the next next city you have to you have to be change your route change your we can say the data change your plan out then cones that is a disadvantage so technical support may be hard to reach or, or, or on the long distance so there may be a technical support there may be a technical error that is not sorted out that is also a, a disadvantage of using the national organization of the national companies then sometimes you get busy signals when trying to access and so time time uh, it is also possible that you get the busy signals while trying to receive the data while trying to delete the data then if you don't use the services so if if you are not able to use the services if there is additional code it is a waste of the money for example if you're not using the money you're not using the connection but you are charging with the service text for example that is that is available or that is that maybe uh, you have to pay for this so that is also extra of, uh, cost or we can say the waste of the money then although you you can also buy an unlimited account so someone will send you notices if you have been online too much that is a national company next one is a specialized company that offer a service like filtering so who are the providers that provide the specialized company or the specialized company that provides over here So providers includes the Reliance, Airtel, DSL, Satyam Info, InfoWays, then SCL, SCL Infonet. Now, what are the various pros and what are the various cons of using this one? Or what are the various pros and the cons of the specialized company? So you don't have to install the additional software to get the pornography out of the computer. You have not you no, will not have to update your uh, filtering software then uh, what are the various limitations to that roaming facility of this account is not available and the technical support may be limited that is limited not saying that it is not available at all the organ everywhere in the uh, we can say the country but it is maybe a uh, limited this is a specialized companies that offer a service life filtering one is a national companies then third one is a local isp that is a small company that offers the internet service to a small area one is a provider that check in the telephone directory or the yellow pages and under the internet services under the internet data then pros that is what are the various advantages of this one so first advantage is that uh, that there's a less error prone less disconnection that means disconnections are very 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 less then offers a local tip number if you are in a rural area that does not have a local tip number for the major providers. The source advantage then cones are it is very limited in their equipment to offer a good best internet speed and again the same technical speed or the technical support may be limited in case of the local areas. The next one is the free ISPs. <sighs> Next is the types of internet service provider accounts. Now there are four types of internet connection to the internet. For example, dial-up connection, ISDN. Now, can anyone tell me what is the full form of ISDN? Because this is the revision, not the exact, we can say the module. So you have, you are supposed to, yes, that is okay. I means integrated services, then DN, anyone else? this integrated services digital network that is ISDN so one is a dial-up one is a ISDN connection then leased line then cable modem broadband DSL now what is the full form of DSL this is digital subscriber line and the most important type of internet is a broadband connection that is very much easily available and it is also economical that is cheaper in rate first one is a dial-up that is uses or that uses the modem to use the telephone lines before you get to the internet for this type of connection you requires a computer with a configuration with the pentium 4 or the above then modem these days we use the modem of the speed up to 56 kbps that is used with the ftp software also and there are three major ways by which you can get linked to the internet using a dial-up connection that namely includes the host terminal connection individual computers dial-up or the demand through the internet or the LAN. 
so one is a terminal emulation now in case of the host computers or the connection a pc is connected to some internet via the modem and the terminal emulation program is going to run that is used with the VT100 computer. Now this type of connection offers different types of account that depending on the work for the ISP that is a local dial use of the public data network and the restricted access. And when you so say about the local dial that is the cheapest type and it is the only possible if it is available if the host is at a local telephone call distance away. Then restricted access account that is used with the email or the news group then individual computers here your computer can work on an internet host that is direct downloading of the files and the mails can be done when connected to the internet that that link is very little more, more costly than the host terminal connection as you have to pay a monthly fees for this one there are two types one is the slip serial line internet protocol and the point-to-point -point protocol in the case of the slave, the data is sent in the packets and the speed of this 960 BPS. Then P2P, point-to-point -point protocol. The data is sent over the telephone lines via the modem. The next one is a dial-up on demand using the LANs. Then ISDN that we have discussed. Again, there are two parts of this channel, B, B channel and the T channel. Then advantages, it also allows high speed access, that is 128 kbps. Then least line that is a dedicated line for this one. This is permanently linked. That is, you have uh, access of the 24 hour access to internet seven days in a week. Then cable modem, DSL broadband that we have discussed. We said that is a very small aperture terminal for the outlink nodes and the central hub with a big dish. Next is how to select. What is a, a criteria for?